you for your inspirational words. So, last week I sat down to write this speech and I began to reminisce on the days of high school, the good days, where we were given yearly assignments to do public speaking dinner addresses. Now that I'm standing here in front of all of you giving a dinner address, I can't help but to point out the difference between the audiences in high school versus the audience today. In high school, we were young, largely unaffected, surrounded by people who lived near us, but like us. Today, as I stand before you, I stand before the Jewish student body of two large university campuses. I stand before people who are adamant about Judaism, their culture and religion. The ways in which we show our Judaism, Jewish pride can be different from one individual to the next. Tonight, we sit together, united by a bond that can never be taken from us. We are still young, most of us in our late teens and early 20s, and there is so much more life to live, people to meet, places to go. But looking back on the people we used to be, we used to be, compared to who we are today, we have been touched by those around us, the stories we hear on the news, the faces of those who have become our family in the Jewish community, our home away from home. Because to me, that's what Chabad is. Last year when I moved to Ottawa, never did I imagine myself coming to a Shabbat dinner or a high holiday meal, but my roommate, best friend, and tonight co-chair Amanda dragged me out along with her to a Rosh Hashanah meal at the University of Ottawa. The friendly, welcoming smiles of the Boyarsky family brought my, to my attention that there was so little I truly understood about my Jewish life, apart from my, the teachings of my family. I didn't expect to become a Sinai scholar or to be asked to represent the Jewish community at Carleton as the CSN president this year. But then again, that's what university is. It's an abundance of experiences that make us something great and powerful, that have the ability to change us and make us realize how much more is out there beyond the classroom. I had a tough, tough couple of years before entering university. Most of you know my story. My father passed away from brain cancer in May of 2013, three short months before I moved to Ottawa. I was perfectly content to form a cocoon in my residence room and socialize with only those on my floor. But ultimately, this Jewish community, the Bayerski family, truly brought me out of that depression and showed me that I am capable of so much more. It never mattered the extent of my Jewish practice or my religiosity. All that mattered was my willingness to come out and be a part of something so great. And ultimately, that's what every single person in this room should take away tonight. We are bigger than the high schoolers that were told to make fake dinner addresses. We carry within us so much more worldly knowledge, so much more positivity, and so much more influence than we believe. By participating in our own culture, our own religion, and our own university experience, we are able to see the little things in life for what they are. Experiences that built us into the people we are, were meant to become. If every Shabbat candle we are going to light tonight can represent one more person that will take away with them that their own involvement with those around them, those like them, can bring us out of darkness and into light, and can create meaning and find purpose, the world will be a better place. Each person in this room is powerful. Shabbat Shalom.